Welcome to The Explainer. Today, we're diving deep into something that's absolutely critical for making AI smarter, but it's often kind of hidden behind the scenes. We're talking about advanced chunking. It really is the secret sauce for a powerful technique called retrieval augmented generation. And honestly, getting it right is a total game changer. Okay, so let's kick things off with the core concept here, RAG, or retrieval augmented generation. The absolute best way to think about this is like giving an AI an open book exam. Instead of just trying to remember everything from its training data, it gets to look stuff up in external documents to find the most accurate, up-to-the-minute info before it gives you an answer. But here's the catch. What happens when that open book isn't just a book, but a massive library? We're talking millions of documents, maybe a huge corporate knowledge base, or even, well, the entire internet. You can't just hand the AI the whole library and say, good luck, that's just not going to work. So how does it find the right page or even the right sentence in that ocean of information? Well, the answer is a process called chunking. And today, we're gonna level up our understanding of it. We'll start with the core problem, look at the most basic methods, then move on to smarter strategies and even some really cutting edge techniques. And finally, we'll talk about how you can choose the right one for you. Let's get into it. So let's start with the central challenge itself, the chunking conundrum. This is really the art and science of splitting up knowledge in a way that actually helps the AI instead of confusing it. At its heart, chunking is all about prepping the AI's open book. You're splitting these huge documents into smaller, digestible pieces. These little pieces, or chunks, then get converted into something called vectors. Think of them as numerical fingerprints of meaning. And they get stored in a special database so the AI can search them super fast. Now, if you get this right, you get amazing accuracy and efficiency. But if you get it wrong, you don't just get bad answers. You get those really weird, confident-sounding AI hallucinations. And this right here, this is the fundamental tension you always have to balance. Precision versus context. Think of it this way. Small chunks are like a sniper scope. They can zero in on a very specific query with incredible precision, but they might miss the bigger picture, the surrounding context. On the flip side, large chunks are like a wide-angle lens. They give you all this rich, expansive context that helps the language model generate a really fantastic, nuanced answer. The problem is, they can be a lot harder to pinpoint during a search. So, how do we even start splitting up our documents? Well, let's go to level one and look at the most straightforward brute force approach. This is usually where everyone begins. The most basic method is called fixed size chunking. Honestly, it's kind of like taking a hammer to your text. You just pick a number, say 500 tokens, and you just chop the text at that interval over and over. The big problem here is that this method has zero respect for grammar or sentences or logic. It can, and often will, slice a really important idea right in half. Okay, so what's the workaround for those really awkward breaks? Well, a common fix is to use what's called overlap. This helps stitch the context back together across the boundaries of your chunks. You just repeat a little bit of the text, maybe 10% of the chunk size, from the end of one chunk at the beginning of the next one. It creates this kind of sliding window that helps make sure a complete thought doesn't get lost in the split. But you know, we can be so much smarter than just using brute force. So let's level up to strategies that actually respect the meaning and structure of the document itself. And this is where things get way more interesting. We're moving from just arbitrary splits to meaningful ones. For instance, recursive splitting tries to follow the natural breaks in the text, like splitting by paragraphs first, and then by sentences. Or if your files are highly structured, content-aware splitting is great. It can use things like markdown headers or HTML tags as perfect breakpoints. And then there's semantic chunking, which is even cleverer. It actually analyzes the meaning of the text to find the exact point where a topic changes. Okay, now we're getting to the really cool stuff, the cutting edge. We're gonna explore strategies that are totally redefining how we organize knowledge for AI. These are the techniques trying to solve that big precision versus context problem once and for all. One of the most powerful solutions out there is the parent-child approach. It's so ingenious in how it solves that precision context dilemma. 
The whole idea is to use two different sizes of chunks. You create small, super precise child chunks just for the search. Then, once you find the most relevant one, you go and retrieve its much larger, context-rich parent chunk to actually feed to the language model. See? You get the best of both worlds. Sniper-like precision for search and wide-angle context for the answer. And the innovation just keeps going. Two other techniques are really pushing the boundaries. With contextual retrieval, you actually use a language model to write a short summary of the entire document, and then you stick that summary onto every single chunk. This gives each little piece valuable global context. Then there's late chunking, which flips things around. It embeds the whole document first and then splits it, which helps make sure even the smallest chunk understands its place in the bigger picture. So, wow, we've got all these options, from the super simple to the really sophisticated. How in the world do you pick the right one? Let's tackle that final challenge. You're probably asking, okay, just tell me, which strategy is the best? And the simple, honest answer is, there isn't one. There's no single best strategy. The right choice depends completely on your specific needs. What works for a chatbot that's analyzing dense legal contracts is going to be totally different from one that's searching through customer product reviews. So to find your optimal strategy, you really have to answer these four critical questions about your data your models, and your app. What kind of data are you chunking? Is it clean articles or just messy web pages? Is your embedding model built for short sentences or longer paragraphs? Are your users asking simple questions or really complex multi-part ones? The answers to these will point you in the right direction. And this isn't just the thought exercise, you know? Research shows just how wildly performance can change based on your choices. Just look at this table. The LLM-based chunker gets the highest recall score. That means it's the best at finding all the relevant information. But check out the IOU score, which measures efficiency. The semantic chunker is the clear winner there. It retrieves the least amount of irrelevant chunk. And look at the simple token text method at the top. Its efficiency is a tiny 1.4%. So yeah, your choices really, really matter. But here's a fun twist for you. Some experts, like Jerry Liu, the CEO of Llama Index, are starting to ask if maybe we're overthinking this whole chunking thing. His hot take is that with these new massive context windows in our models, maybe we should just make our chunks way bigger, like entire pages, and just let the AI figure it out. And that leaves us with this really big, fundamental question about the future, doesn't it? Is all this complex chunking work just a temporary fix, a patch for the limitations of the models we have today? Or is it a permanent, essential part of teaching an AI how to truly read and understand our world? It's a debate that's really shaping the foundations of the intelligent systems we're all building.